So here we will be solving the first questions in the conditional probability problem set. We have a couple of pieces of information here. We know that we have two events, A and B, and what we know is that probability of A is 0.4 and the probability of A and B is 0.75. So let's look at problem one. Find the probability B if A and B are mutually exclusive. So in curly brackets we have the correct solutions. We'll draw a little probability space and we have a little A here. And what does it mean? Mutually exclusive means that our event B has absolutely no overlap with A. So of course we are given the information that the probability for A is 0.4, so the size here is 0.4, and A plus B is 0.75, so it's, we don't even have to pull out alg any algebra to realize that the size of this area has to be 0.35, and that's the correct solution. So that was really just a little, a little warm-up. But perhaps to prepare ourselves for the second problem, we can do we can look at this formally. The probability for A and B is formally the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Okay, so that's the probability of a, actually I should have said A or B, just in case I said and before. Go back and cancel that. So that's A or B, so 0.75, and we have this. So we are given the information that this is 0.75, and we know PA is 0.4. Now this is what we want to find out, PB, but the important thing is here that the information that the two events are mutually exclusive that means that the probability of A and B is in fact zero. Okay, so that bit comes from here. That bit of information tells us that this is zero and therefore we just can easily solve for PB. So that perhaps with respect to the first problem, now let's go to the second problem which is just slightly more complicated. Let's draw our space again and we have exactly the same information. Probability for A, so we have an event A, and here the size is 0.4 for this, and oh, there is an event B, but we don't know whether A and B are mutually exclusive or not. Okay, That information here was only valid for the first part. So we will possibly have to assume that, and let me just use a different color here, I'm going to use the same for the time being, that B potentially has an overlap here. Okay, so now let me color code the information. The information that A had a probability of 0.4 really means that the size of this event is 0.4. And let's introduce an, another color. Now the probability that of A or B equal to 0.7, that means that this entire bit, the size of this probability is 0.75. So, and we are being asked now to, to say how big that green, uh, the, the B event is, but we can't really, just using the blue and the red, we don't really know because we don't know how big that overlap here is. So this problem we have to solve algebraically and that's great because that means we can uh, pull off our skills and we'll start with this relationship again. Okay, so what, what we had before, we'll start with exactly that one again. Oh, let's write it again. So the so we have the probability, uh, I forgot the R's here, yeah. so the probability of A or B is equal to the 
probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So, and the only thing we really know at this stage is that this is 0.75 and this guy is 0.4, but these two guys we don't know. Okay, so by itself we cannot solve that, but now we have an additional bit of information. Now this additional bit of information is that A and B are independent. Now that means that the probability of A, equal A and B, if they are independent, they can be written as the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay, so that relationship here that comes from this information of independence. So let us go back and complete the, the formula. So now we have the probability of A plus the probability of B minus this guy. And now we can see that basically we are there. We have the solution because we know this one, that's 0.75, we know this one and we know this one and the only thing that's unknown is the probability for B so we just have to solve this equation for B and you can of course do that yourself I'll just give the solution here the probability of B is equal to the probability of A or B minus the probability of a divided by 1 minus the probability of A. And if you plug in the numbers we have, we'll get 0 0.75 minus 0 0.4 divided by 1 minus 0 0.4. Four, so that's 0.35 divided by 0.6. So we have 0.6. So we have something a little larger than 0.5. In fact, it's 0.583. Period. Okay, that's the solution.